Congrats for the Hardcore Camping Gear channel, the channel where we explore and review the camping gear that you need to be self-contained, self-reliant, and most of all, comfortable camping in the outdoors without having to spend tens of thousands of dollars on an expensive RV or travel trailer. Mm, just got to get that sweet, sweet Hugo de los Dios, uh, juice of the gods, as they say in Colombia. Um, so anyways, as you can see, we are getting slammed with some winter weather. May do some winter camping a little bit later this week, but if not, we'll probably do the next couple of videos in the house. In today's episode, we're looking at the Coleman Ridgeline 3 Camping Cot. Now, I've been on the search for a comfortable camping cot for quite a while, have explored and reviewed a couple of them so far, or reviewed one of them anyways. And this is uh, my latest find. So let's get into it. Show you that in just a second but one of the things you'll notice is that it is a little bit lower than some of the other cots available like the buyer of main easy cot that i reviewed in another video much taller the benefit to having a lower cot like this is that you can put it in a smaller tent so maybe if your tent only goes up to be four or five feet this should still fit in it so what really makes this cot superior in my opinion even though it's less expensive than a lot of other cots. I paid about 75 bucks for this, um, is that it's got these springs all the way around it. And so that keeps the canvas fairly taut or tight, but you still have a little bit of a give. So it gives you kind of that springy mattress effect. And it really does work very well. Uh, I was actually surprised with how much more comfortable this cot was compared to the type of cot that has the, the sag in the middle. So this is the little sleeping pad or camp mattress, if you will, that came with it. You can see it's, it's fairly thin. It's got a pattern on one side and just green on the other side. And I, I thought this wasn't going to be that comfortable, but it's actually very, very comfortable. There is one problem with it. Let me show you. You can see that slips around pretty easily, especially when you're on it. See how that slips? In case you're wondering, I'm about 6'1", at 180, 185 pounds, depending on how much I've been eating. Um, so that gives you some idea in terms of the size. Let me show you what I did to keep the mattress from slipping. So I got one of these, these uh, rug grabbers. You see, it's just like a thin piece of rubber and typically you put this under your, your rug to keep it from, from slipping. Now, here's the brand. This cost me about nine bucks. I don't know if you could see that because the reflection, but uh, this is uh, style selections. I think I got this from Target. The dimensions are two feet by eight feet. So I'm gonna put it on. I'll show you how well it works. Let me show you what else I did. So this is my Milliard three panel four inch mattress that I reviewed on 
or in another video and wasn't super happy with it per se. You know, I, I woke up in the morning with some body aches, but this, and then I'll show you what else. You put this on here. So I've got a fitted twin mattress sheet, which doesn't fit the Coleman sleeping pad perfectly, but good enough. I, I got this with the idea that it would help, in addition to the rug grabber, uh, keep the mattress on top, the Coleman mattress, from slipping around too much. So you can see I put the fitted sheet not only around the, the Coleman mattress, but around the whole thing, and it hooked it under the edges of the, uh, uh, of the cot itself. And that really helps keep everything in place very, very well. So you put your sleeping bag on top of this. The only negative that I found, and you may have this with all cots, but um, if you, there's a little bit of movement. So you might want to put something underneath, maybe some grip tape or something on, underneath this to keep it from moving. I haven't really had too much of a problem with that, but the problem that I have just with this cot in general, I mean, it's a minor cork, is that in the middle of the night, this tends to fall off. So, not a problem if you're using a mommy bag and you have one of these little backpacker pillows. This one's from Red Camp. It costs about 12 bucks, and it's actually very comfortable. <laughs> I really like this little pillow. But if you put this inside the head area of the mommy bag, it, it prevents it from slipping off the edge of the cot in the middle of the night. So this setup, this setup like this, uh, I'm very happy with. I would say that it is uh, very good. It's not excellent. Uh, I'm still kind of on the hunt. I mean, I, I can sleep through the night with this and wake up without any body pains. To the people who say that this is more comfortable than their bed at home, I would probably say you need to upgrade your bed at home because this is not, this is pretty comfortable as far as a camp cot. Uh, nowhere near as comfortable as my bed anyway. So um, take that into consideration. I may try, <laughs> I'm out of breath here. I may try the Teton XXL cot uh, because one negative of this is it's almost to the point where it's just a little bit too skinny. You know, and you, you are kind of semi aware of that in the middle of the night that you, you, you know, you don't have too much space to like spread out. But generally speaking, if you're sleeping in a mummy bag, it's not so much of an issue anyways. Um, so I'm kind of curious to try the, the Titan XXL cot. The problem with that cot is that it's just absolutely massive and doesn't fit in, doesn't fit inside a lot of tents. The other thing is when I went to Sportsman's Warehouse to check out the the Titan XXL, or uh, sorry, Teton XXL uh, cot. They had one on display and it had tremendous sag. And so uh, people online said, no, it's tight. It, it, it doesn't sag whatsoever. This one had tremendous sag. Of course, there was also a boot print, like somebody may have like been stepping on it, you know, and maybe that contributed to it, that you had hundreds of people coming through the store and I don't know, but, uh, that's basically my, my only criticism of this cot. I think it's a great solution for most people, even if you don't have the Milliard three panel four inch mattress, just with the regular mattress that comes with the little, little cot I showed you a few minutes ago. Uh, it's very, very comfortable. So good solution for around 75 bucks. You know, if you're looking to get out and camp and you don't want to sleep on the ground and you're doing car camping or overlanding. Now, one of the things <laughs> while I remember is you saw when I set this up, uh, it folds flat, which is good for sliding into the back of your truck, for example, but it does not um, you know, fold down as compact as, for example, the Buyer of Main Easy Cot, you know, which kind of folds up similar to uh, like a, a camping chair, for example. So th that may or may not be a negative depending on what your needs are and you know, what you're using to haul all of your camping gear out to your campsite. Weighs, I'm guessing about 25 pounds. You can look on the manufacturer's website for the actual weight. Uh, I'll see if I can post it below here. But uh, all in all, uh, fairly happy with this. I, I will, again, probably test a few more cots just to see if I can improve on this setup. 
If I can't improve on this setup, if I can't find something even more comfortable, then I'll probably just use this and be relatively happy with it. So definitely check one out if you're in the market for a camping cot because I think they did a good job specifically because of the springs. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you'll be the first to be notified when we come out with new content. Also, we've got links to pretty much all of the gear that we review over at hardcorecampinggear.com. If you'd like to support the channel, all you got to do is just click on any of the links to those products. It'll take you over to Amazon or Cabela's or wherever. And uh, if you buy the product, it doesn't cost you any more money, but they give us a little bit of a kickback. Hey, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one, guys.